Hey, Electric Ed here. Let's get that Lutron installed now. I wanna taste the pain. I think I'm seeing all gray. Two bullets in the gun, one shot to the head. I need a blank space. Cause everything is a okay, we're going to get this all set up for you here. I'm gonna take off the cover and I'm gonna show you how to wire in a three-way only using a Cassetta and a Pico switch. So it doesn't matter if you had two three ways there or not. You can switch these from two different locations. You're, you're only gonna need one Cassetta and one Pico. Here we go. Okay, well the screws are out. You know, this person here decided to it's like caulk the uh, plate in. Well, you caulk the plate in, you know, you're gonna deal with this later. There we go. All right. So now what you want to do is you want to make sure you find the right wire. You're looking for the hot wire only. You don't care about the travelers or anything else that you've got going on in the box. You just want the hot wire or the switch leg. One of the two. In this case, all I've got are black wires. So I've got to find the hot. I've located the hot. And so now that I've isolated that, I know which one is going to go on my switch. Okay, so what you've seen here is I've capped off just the hot. And then I've got these two travelers. I'm going to actually wire those together as if it were one wire. Of course, I got some real bad strippers. These things have been through a couple of wars. Did I tell you, don't forget to turn off the electricity when you're doing this stuff. I'm a professional, only been shocked maybe once. Per, per week. Now what I'm going to do, is I'm gonna take this looter on here and I'm going to wire one of the legs. You've got two legs on here. And I'm going to wire one of them to these two wires here. And you want to make sure these things are put together real nice. Make sure you line up all your insulation. And then if you have any excess copper, then you want to trim that off. No need for extra copper. Okay, next what I'm going to do is connect the hot here directly to the Lutron switch. Of course, I'm also dealing with stranded wire here. All right, there you go. I've connected the hot now. And now I've got just the ground left. I'll do that here off the camera because I got to take a bunch of switches off. But now we're going to move to the other side. Okay, here we are at the other side. What I'm going to do is just take the cover off pretty basic. This is where we're going to put the Pico remote. So there'll be no wiring other than just wiring two wires. Okay, here we are. I'm going to pull this cover off. And it looks like we got a dummy switch here that somebody installed. And, uh, and we got an old dimmer here. We're going to pull that dimmer out and we're going to end up putting the Pico here. Now it doesn't matter if you put the cassette on this side or the Pico on that side. It doesn't matter as long as you wire the stuff through. All right, there we go. Here's the switch. So it looks like I've got three wires here. So I've got here a hot 
and two travelers. But it doesn't really matter. Um, not for the application that we're using here now. Like I said, we're gonna tie these three wires together. Doesn't matter what side you're working on. But we've already isolated the travelers on the other side, isolated the either the switch leg or the power that goes in there. And so there we go. Now we're just gonna tie these together. Just like that, the lights are on. It's that simple. But wait, we're not done yet. Okay, now the funny thing is, now we're gonna test our switch. Well, it's not gonna work. So we have to program it. Okay, here we are at the switch uh, that we just installed. This side is the cassetta. What we're gonna do is hold this down for six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right around there, it's gonna start flashing. There it is. Then what we're gonna do is walk over to the other switch and program that while this thing is in program mode. Okay, here we are at the other switch and we're gonna hold this down for six seconds and what you're gonna notice is the lights are gonna start to flicker. They'll flicker three times on and off to say that it's programmed. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the lights have been programmed. It's that simple. There we go. I'm Electric Ed. This is the Electrician Professional Series. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks.